I grew up in a single parent household. It's just my mom and my brother and my sister. And my mom doesn't have any kind of like religious beliefs. My grandmother took us to church. I'm not really sure like how deep her faith ever really was, but she would take us. Me and my brother and my sister, we all three have different dads, which is kind of an indicator that there was men in and out of our home like while we were younger and there was some sexual abuse that came with that and then there were some like repressed memories that came with that right like i was so young and as i got older i kind of like went experienced some trauma and actually told myself that there was like no such thing as religion like i can remember for the probably like a 12 or 15 year chunk of my life saying like there is no god i don't believe in that my boyfriend from high school, he went into the military, we were going together, he left, and I was like, oh wow, now I'm just here, what do I do? And I started hanging out in Seattle, working at the strip club, and kind of dove into this life that I didn't even know existed in the real world of like drugs and adult entertainment and really scary relationships. I got a great job in dental field and still just kind of like drank a lot. I've always just felt nothing almost, like really empty, but like never really willing to acknowledge that. So I drank or I dated or I, you know, did all these things and I thought that because I wasn't out working at the strip club or doing drugs, you know, every day, like I was doing really great. I never had peace. My best friend told me that all she wanted for her birthday was for me to come to church with her in Renton, Kent area. And so I filled up a, a, a grape juice bottle of vodka and I sat through a church service. And then I never went back to church again for a while. Amazingly, she invited me back to church again. The next year for the same reason, she had the same excuse. Hey, it's my birthday. All I want for my birthday is for you to come to church with me. Um, and so I came to Life Point. Rusty was standing outside. We shook our hands on the way in and we had donuts and he made jokes. And I kind of decided actually driving home that day like, if I never believe in God, if I never believe in this God and, you know, this whole entire faith, if coming back to church, that was not the worst hour of my life that I've ever experienced, makes me a better person, if it makes me a better mom, then I think it's worth it. And so I came to church, I immediately jumped into Sunday school because I needed the community service hours. Um, so I threw myself into the church and I hadn't been to like, discover anything like that. By the time that Rusty gave a sermon and said, hey, if you want to accept Jesus, say this prayer, you know, within the quietness of your heart and then, you know, raise your hand or open your eyes or whatnot so that I can acknowledge that, I was already a part of the church. I was already working in K1. I didn't want anyone to know that I had just now decided, hey, I think I'm gonna do this thing. So I, I didn't open my eyes and I didn't raise my hand. I said the prayer. And then I texted my best friend and I was like, so I said the prayer, but um, I didn't open my eyes because I didn't want Rusty to know. <laughs> and so I got baptized in February. I had this idea in my head that before I can get baptized, I have to like have it all together. You don't have to have it all together. Like if you're really willing to, to, to make this your life and to try getting baptized is really, that's the next step for you. I think that as a mom, I'm obviously, imperfect. I'm still learning. So with me and Isaiah now, it's something that just brings us together in general. You know, we sit down to read from one of our Bibles every night. And I think that for him to see me live my life differently, like that lead by example type of thing, um, he's getting that. And I think one day he'll be able to look back and kind of see the switch. He has a different mom now.